This is problem number two from section 2.2. It says solve the equation and check your answer. Uh, as you can see here, we have uh, three fractions in the equation. Um, anytime we run into fractions in an equation, I think it's important, at least in my opinion, to cancel the fractions out so that we can work with um, an equation that we're used to solving. How do we cancel the fractions out? We'll find a common denominator between these three terms. So the common denominator between these three terms is, well, uh, 12 would work pretty well because we know 12 is divisible by 2 and 4 and 3. So let's multiply the entire equation by 12. So to do that, we're just going to put parentheses around and we're going to say times 12 over 1. Now when you multiply each individual term by 12, um, all we've got to do is Let's go ahead and write this out as like 12 times 2x plus 11 over 3, right? Because we're going to distribute to each term, plus 12 times x minus 11 over 4 equals 12 times 11 over 2. Right, because you can see that 12 over 1 times 11 over 2 gives you this 12 times 11 over 2. Okay, now we can start to cross cancel here. So I'm going to put these over 1. And when we multiply the 12 inside here, you'll get a cross cancellation of 12 and 3. Right, because 12 divided by 3 is 4. So we really end up with 4 parentheses 2x plus 11. And then here we'll end up with 3, so that's plus 3x minus 11. Equals, on this side we get 12 times 11. 12 times 11 is 132 over 2, which we can reduce. So this would be 130 over, 132 over 2. So in our next step we'll reduce that. Let's do that first. It's 66. So we'll put equals 66 here. And distribute... Uh, let's use the distributive property for each of these. So there's 8x plus 44 plus 3x minus 33. We can combine some like terms here. So 8x and 3x is 11x. And 44 minus 33 is 11. So plus 11 equals 66. Let's subtract 11 over. So we end up with 11x equals... 55 divide by 11 on each side and we get x equals 55 over 11 which we know that x would equal then uh, 5. Okay now we need to check our answer so this is where we bring the calculator back out and let's use the store button to make this easy. So we're going to take our answer of 5, we're going to store it. So 5, store as x. Okay, now we can start to write this equation out uh, up top. So we're going to say, um, and we can use this math fraction button. Let's see, alpha F1 fraction. So it's alpha F1, you see that, or alpha Y equals, but you can see the green F1 there. And we're going to say 2x plus 11 over 3 plus do the alpha F1 again to get that another fraction and we'll say X minus 11 over 4 now if it equals 11 over 2 which 11 over 2 is 5.5 we'll see that in a second well it just gave us 11 over 2 so we know that this worked out so that's our solution